All right, well, welcome back to Exhaust Sports Auto. My name is Kevin, and we are here to talk about the little procedure I got done to this vehicle. As of lately, I got a full front PPF done to the 2020 LC, as well as ceramic coating, all around tint, all that good stuff. So I had all this stuff done at Tint World Carry in North Carolina. So I am not actually paid and sponsored by them or anything like that, but I would like to be though, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, as of right now though, no, I'm not trying to push anything on you. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, I actually want to tell you guys if this, if all this crap was worth it and if you should do it to your own car. So all this cost me about 2,500 bucks. So to some of you, you might be thinking, oh, that's like way too much. Or to some of you are like, oh damn, that's like peanuts. And honestly, uh, for all that I've had done to it, like the full front PPF, like the paint protection film that goes on top of it, like you probably seen a bunch of videos on it like they sp spray the water it's like a clear film that goes over clear bra it's got like a million different names for it so i got the full front done including the headlights the little logo the lexus logo and uh, the full like kind of front fender up to the doors and the mirrors so all that the fog lights all that stuff was wrapped in the paint protection film the ppf and the rest of the car i didn't decide to do the rest of the car because like you know, even the owner was telling me like 95% of the damage occurs in the front. That makes sense, right? All the rock chips and stuff like that. So rest of the car, I just got a ceramic coated that little bottle that most people think is snake oil, but it's really not. Actually, it's pretty legit. So the rest of the car was actually um, coated with that. And I got the full tint on this vehicle because, well, when I first bought this car, it was like a fishbowl. So I got the entire tint done on it. It's about 45% of the front windshield and I got 20s all around, like 20s on the sides and 20 on the rear windshield. So that's pretty much what I got done to it. Oh, and the wheels got ceramic coated as well. So I'm gonna tell you why I did it and if it's worth it and if you should do it. So on a vehicle like this, it's about, I'm not gonna lie, it's about six figures. You know I'm saying 100 grand, 100%, it's a must, you must do it. Uh, you might even, depending on the car, you might even want to do the entire car actually. I'm a cheapskate, so I actually didn't do the whole car, I just did the front. PPF and all that good stuff. That's really all you need, but I'm just saying. The two things that I really absolutely love that, you know, I got the most value out of is this tint, the all around tint that I got done and the the wheels getting ceramic coated. So obviously, you know, with any performance car, the brake dust is gonna be absolutely horrendous. <laughs> this fixed everything. Dude, I'm gonna be playing the B-roll that the shop took, like tint roll carry, like the owner's son, he actually does like all the videos. So if you ever went there and you actually got this whole procedure done or whatever procedure done, they will actually take a video of it, put it on YouTube to also, so for you can see like the work that they did to your car. So, you know, there is that. So that was convenient for me. I didn't have to go there and shoot all that. So I'm going to be playing that over as I'm talking. And dude, when I picked up this vehicle, the pictures will not do it justice, dude. They had this car shining better than when I actually bought it new from the dealership. Actually, the dealership that I bought this car from, they did a hell of a job detailing this car and making it look pristine. I mean, of course they would, but somehow they got even more of a shine out of this car when I picked it up. And I'm not joking about that. You know, Randy, the, the owner of that place, uh, Tint Roll Carry, Dude, when he said this car was gonna look like a mirror, he was not joking around, dude. This thing, it really did. You feel like you can just put your whole hand in the car. Like, it's pretty insane. So the chrome wheels, you know, they were caked with dust. I mean, they were like bronze looking when I, when I, you know, took it to them. The chrome, it looks so damn bright. It can like blind someone in a, in a sunny day. It's pretty insane. So I love that. But dude, this tint though, this tint is phenomenal. So what they use is a company called SunTech. So there's about three different brands that are kind of like well-known in this industry, you know, 3M, like Lumar or whatever, and then SunTech. Between these three brands, which is the best? There is no best. They're pretty much all the same. There's like a negligible difference between the three. It's whatever. They're all like the top of their game essentially. So SunTech is the PPF company as well as the tin company. So they put the tin on there and then they also put the ceramic coating on top of the tint. So it's like, I'll get to the ceramic coating in a bit, but it's pretty much like wax on steroids. But this tint, it is, it keeps so much heat out of this car. When I bought this car, there was nothing on here. It was like as if all the windows were down basically. It, it just let all the heat through. I couldn't even put my hand on the steering wheel on a sunny day, it was insane. And like the chrome kind of like alloys and aluminum buttons and switches and stuff like that, I couldn't even touch it, it was so hot. After the tint, I don't even put the sun visor thing up on here. It's just, it keeps out all the heat, 100,000% worth it. And I drove it at night too. And actually, I also drove it in like a really like a like a rainstorm as well. But when I drove it at night, you know, some people might be uh, asking, you know, 
is it too dark? Like, is it difficult to see out of? No, it's not actually. It actually kind of helps at night as well. It kind of like, kind of the glare you get from uh, other vehicle kind of headlights or street lights or whatever, it kind of reduces that. And I have no issues seeing out of this, but you know, obviously I only got like a 45%. I didn't go super illegal with my car because that's stupid. It's only a 45% tint. And I mainly want to do that because I have this beige interior and there's like this kind of reflection I get. I kind of want to reduce that kind of glare I got. Uh, it's still there, but it's a beige interior. So you can't really get rid of that completely unless I do like a limo tint on the front windshield. Which, hell no, I'm not going to do that. So it's perfect. I can still see as if I didn't have the car tinted. I will say the 20s on the sides and the rear are a little bit dark, but it's still doable at night. I can still see perfectly at the rear windshield, no issues. Now, every day when you get in the car, it's gonna feel kind of gloomy inside as if every day is like a rainy day kind of. That's kind of what it feels like when you kind of drive around in this type of tint. To most people, it's just keep it at the legal limit, do the 35% of course, but you know, I like to live life on the edge a little bit, go slightly illegal. I really like that privacy factor. Like you have to be really up close to the car to see kind of through it. Uh, you absolutely can't see through it. You know, it's only a 20%. So you can do that when you're out, when you're out of like a red light, stoplight, whatever, you have that privacy. Nobody can really see through it. Like from a distance, it's like kind of fully blacked out like from the side. So I love that. It's perfect. And even like from the front, it's like kind of hard to like, you know, see kind of who's inside of it. So that's really nice. I really like the tint. That was a hundred percent worth it. Now the ceramic coating. Now, a lot of people, you think the ceramic coating is like a snake oil, you know, is it really as great as it seems? I'll be completely honest with you, it's 100% worth it. You know, it might be like a little $40 bottle, but like, dude, that thing made a huge difference. And obviously, you might be wondering, can you do it yourself? Hell no, you can't do it yourself. Like, <laughs> you see the video, you see the guys installing this stuff, you can put me on this earth for a thousand years, I can never do what these people just did to this car. So, I would highly not advise you to do this yourself. Also, there's no guarantee when you do something yourself, you know, there's a lifetime warranty on the tints. And the guy, Randy, who owns a place, really there's only a five-year warranty on this stuff, but he offers a 10-year warranty. So, that was another big thing. So, when you install something yourself, there is no warranty. So. They did a phenomenal job. You can't even tell that this stuff is put on here or whatever. So there is that. And the price, $2,500. A lot of car companies like Porsche or even Lexus, I think, they will apply a paint protection film like from the factory or whatever. But it costs $2,500 just to do with the front nose. So you get a quality shop like Tint World that has like 500 Google reviews. That's kind of the best way to do it. It's cheaper. You get a lot more for your money. And I even got the whole car tinted. So there's that. But yes, the ceramic coating, it really does repel a lot of the water. It does make your car hydrophobic. So when you're driving, it mainly makes a difference out of the highway. The rain just absolutely just gets dispersed like insanely, but it is kind of like a rain X type of thing. Like, especially at the lower speeds, it's kind of performs like that. But the thing with ceramic coating is it lasts a lot longer than rain X or like wax, essentially. It's like two to like five to six years, depending on how you kind of maintain the vehicle. So. Is that worth it? 100%. I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to make continuous videos, you know, two, three months later, a year later. You know, I'm going to let you know what this is kind of like and kind of how it's holding up. But yes, it truly does disperse the water. Like two, three minutes after like the rain kind of stopped, the whole car is pretty much dry. So it's pretty damn worth it. And also, if you're a jerk off like me who hates cleaning cars, this is perfect for you, especially if you have like a kind of expensive car like this, you want to maintain the paint, maintain the looks. This is kind of a mandatory thing. Now, the kind of value proposition, should you do it to your own vehicle? Should you spend the money? Okay, here's kind of how I'm going to break this down. If you have like a normal car that's like 25 grand, you know, like a Honda Accord, Honda Civic, Camry, something like that, should you spend 2,500? No, I don't think you should PPF your car. However, if you have a normal car like that, the two things I, for like a, around a grand, what you should probably do is the 100% the tint and probably get the whole car ceramic coat. Instead of doing the PPF up front, you should maybe do like a ceramic coating all around because the hydrophobic, it is pretty nice. I do like the way the water kind of disperses. I would get the best tint possible. You can keep it legal. You don't even have to tint the front windshield if you don't want to, but having that ceramic coating applied everywhere is really freaking nice. And if you, you know, a lot of people who have normal cars, you want to preserve the way it kind of looks. This will prevent kind of the swirl marks and all that crap, especially if you do the PPF, it's definitely going to prevent that. So that's kind of the main thing. I kind of contemplated this for too long. I wasn't sure like where to go about and where to do this. So that's the only reason why I kind of hesitated doing it. 
But no, if you have a $25,000 car, spending $2,500, not really. I mean, that's like 10% of the value of the car right there. You're kind of better off, uh, you know, paying off your car further. For a grand, getting the full car ceramic coat and doing a full tint, yes, I would whip out the credit card. I would swipe that. That's worth it. That is actually, especially if you plan on doing stupid modifications to your car, you know, if you plan on blowing your money, blow your money on two things. What I just got done here and... A warranty these are the only two modifications worth doing to a vehicle especially you know if you have kids or whatever doing that tint is kind of a mandatory thing it really keeps the heat out definitely the thing that i appreciate on a day-to-day -day basis and i had all this done about a week ago actually now 50k and up this is where i kind of suggest you doing what i have done to the car especially if you care about it and usually 50k and up cars those are kind of the aspirational kind of dream cars that's kind of where that begins so if it's a car that you really care about, you got a little Beamer, a little Ben, something like that, you really aspire to own your entire life, do the front PPF, do the full ceramic coat, and do the tints. Do all that. That is actually worth that at that point because it's only like 5% of the car's value. Even if you're leasing a car. So another person had a good question. Why do all this on a lease? Well, here's the thing. Eventually, I'm, I'm probably going to buy this car out after the lease is done because I really like it, but... Uh, that's besides the point. Even if I'm just going to keep it for the three, four years of the duration of the lease, I would still have it done because A, while you have it for three, four years, you don't want to look like a jerk off. You want to have like a, you know, clean looking car throughout the duration of your lease. So there's that. I don't want any stupid swirl marks or whatever on this pristine looking car. I don't want none of that. So I want to keep and maintain the look of this car throughout the duration of however long I want to keep this car. Besides, again, like I mentioned, if you're going to do stupid modifications to your car, stupid intakes and crap like that, do this instead. This is a far better investment of your money. Now, the second thing, it will kind of increase slash maintain the value of your car a little bit. If you ever decide to sell your car, this will kind of make your car a little bit more um, desirable in the used car market. You can actually kind of ask a, sl a slight premium over your car. You can't ask quite 2,500 over, but you know, maybe ask like 500 to a thousand dollars more than your competitors because you had all this stuff done and it could sell faster because you had all this stuff done. Now, the other thing, if you're going to turn back a car, especially an expensive car like this, you better believe that they are going to nickel and dime your ass when you, uh, turn the vehicle in. So if you have any type of, you can pretty much it's possible that you can rack up like 10 grand worth of rock chips and damages to your paint within three to four years, especially on an expensive car. So spending that 2,500 is a lot cheaper than getting rock chips and dings and all that crap on your car. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion, especially like, like I mentioned, 50 K or even 40 K, you know, your Mustangs, your Camaros, stuff like that. It's kind of worth doing that too. Car that you care about and you think you're going to kind of own in the long term, do it. But, you know, you exceed that 75 to 100K, 150K, you might even want to do the whole car, actually, because the paint on these vehicles are very expensive. Like infrared, this is the only color that Lexus has. This is the only kind of red that's being used, and that's only bespoke to the LC500. So this paint job is going to cost a lot of money. Something goes bad with it. Now, the other thing. If you do all this stuff, you're probably wondering, what if some jerk-off teenager rear-ends me or something like that and... Will insurance cover this? The answer to that question is yes, insurance will cover this stuff. I just got off the phone with Allstate and they were telling me, yeah, if you get into an accident the next day, you know, God forbid, yes, whatever you had done to the car, insurance will cover it. So that's a nice peace of mind. You know, you're spending that money, you're not, it's not a complete waste. You will get that back if anything were to happen to the vehicle. So keep that in mind. Now, like I mentioned, I'm not paid off by Tint World. This is a 100,000% honest, but I did only have this done about a week ago. So I'm going to let you know how this ages, how I feel about it. Uh, another thing, you know, having this tint done is going to probably save you some fuel. I'm not even, the car's not even on right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even using the, I'm not using fuel. I'm not using the air conditioning as much. That's another great thing. So that's why if you have a normal car, even if you have a dirt cheap ass car, at least do the tints. The tints are absolutely worth it alone. So you know, do the highest grade tint that they have, you know, it's like 400 bucks, do it, 100% worth it. It's like UV radiation proof and all that crap. It's like FDA approved, whatever the hell it is. It's all approved, it's all good, so do it. But really on pretty much any car, no matter what car you have, I would whip out the credit card and I would blow that G, I would do the full ceramic coat and I would do the full tint. That much I can stand by, that much I will tell, even if you have a normal car, I would do that. If you have any stupid modifications planned, 
throw that in the garbage, do this instead. Do a PPF, do the ceramic coat, do the tint. That's my opinion on that. So wrapping everything up, how do I feel about tint roll and the work that they did? The work they did is flawless. Like I mentioned, you can put me on this earth for a thousand years. I can never do what these people just did. Dude, you, it's really like a mirror like finish. It's going to maintain its look. If you don't want the swirl marks, it's going to prevent that. You can't even tell like where the edges are and stuff like that. I mean, you could tell, but it's like, in a, like you really had to be looking at the absolute edges of the car. It's perfect, dude. I love it. It's not going to peel off or anything like that. I'm pretty confident about that. They did a really freaking good job. So Tint World, you know, you have to keep in mind, I went to the Tint World in Cary. You know how many rich douchebags are here, you know, bringing their 911s or C8 Corvettes, high-end crap that they're dealing with, you know, Lambos, a, a Bentley SUV, all that stuff. You know how anal these people are here? They have like 500 freaking Google reviews. So yes, I do recommend them. I am blow the money, you're going to get what you can get the return on investment basically. So yes, I do trust Randy and all their work and all the people who work there. Flawless. No issues coming from them. Uh, so yes, Tint World as a whole, I do recommend it. It's like a franchise thing. That's another reason why I trusted them. You know, they're a franchise. They're not going to screw this crap up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to use the best stuff. They're not going to screw with your car. But here's the thing though. Here's why I didn't get this done sooner. I've been passing by Tint World for like eons now. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've known of their existence, but I thought they only did tint. I wanted the PPF and the ceramic and all that crap. I didn't know that they did that until I went onto their website. Dude, they do freaking everything. You got to see the owner's like RX350 Lexus. He's got a 2019 with like a psychedelic wrap, PPF on top of that, and a ceramic coat on top of that. That's pretty insane. And yes, they did do a ceramic coating on top of my PPF. That, they do that to... Um, ensure the quality and to make sure the PPF lasts even longer. So there's that. But yes, Randy's car is amazing. His son's car, he's got like a 2015 Challenger. It's like green with like the black kind of hood and the roof and all that crap. He's They put the exhaust on there, uh, an intake. They did all that stuff themselves. And dude, that kid's car has like a $17,000 sound system in that freaking thing. So they do all that stuff there. So it's not just tint. Their name just does not do them justice. So if you want to have any of that crap done to your car, I would highly recommend them. Again, I'm not paid by them, but I would like to be, you know, in the future. Kind of like how Straight Pipes has that Continental thing going on. Kind of want that with, uh, with Tent World. So cut me a check. But that about does it for this video. If you have any of this stuff done to your car and you had it for any length of time, leave your thoughts and your experiences down in the comment section below. If you've used Tent World in the past, let me know your thoughts. I would like to hear it's going to help out a lot of people who are thinking about doing this but do i recommend it yes i do it's worth the money it's worth the investment if you have any questions leave it down in the comment section below thank you again for watching take care and goodbye